What are your plans today? I'm trying to kill a BRXL on 24 volts with a trolling motor. I don't know if I have the world's first hybrid jet ski. Probably not, but it works rather well. Today I'm out here on the water testing out this uh, cheap Motor Guide R3 30 pound of thrust uh, trolling motor, they call them. Not really a boating aficionado. On this old jet ski that I picked up, uh, Yamaha VXR650. I believe it's a 1995. Nice flat hull, not performance at all but it works good for stability and uh, probably going to end up turning this into a fishing rig. For the time being, what I'm trying to do is get myself a variable speed controller on this trolling motor so that I can have more infinite control and also be able to run 24 volt lithium packs. Right now I'm just running the BRXL speed controller and it seems to be handling it just fine, although it is running a little hot, especially when I turn up the voltage all the way to our motor. Now the motor's only meant for, oh, uh, 12 volts or so. So running 24 volts to it probably isn't a good idea. However, I'm just out here trying to burn up some parts before we have this winter time or fall time coming. Yeah, it's uh, start of October today, October 1st. We'll see when this actually gets out to uh, the YouTube. We do need it regulated down from the 24 volts one way or another. So probably gonna use some controllers, maybe hacks together or something. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, until this burns out, I'm just gonna putt around and have some fun. Maybe I should do some other things to it. Actuate the steering off of this steering. What do you guys think? Maybe I should mount it up on the front. Would it work better then? Or maybe I should just keep rocking it until I break it. We'll see how that works out too. But I think for just putting around, it's, it's working pretty good so far. Don't have to fire up the engine. I don't want to scare away any of the uh, wildlife, do a little bit of fishing. This will be just the ticket. I'm not hungry for fish tonight. Unfortunately, this river mostly has carp in it. For a $100 trolling motor, it does seem to work rather well on this light craft. Although, admittedly, it is more effective going in the intended direction of this craft. This works rather good. Maybe we should check our ESE temperature. Yeah, she's a little warm. Maybe uh, 150 degrees. Yeah, 150 exactly by my finger. You know, brought my my handy dandy clamp meter so I could see what was going on. It's probably the worst thing to carry on with water, except for electronics, of course. There it is, in all the glory, 24 volt pack, BRXL, servo tester. BRXL is waterproof, but the servo tester is not. And I just barely have it turned up. And we're, uh, yeah, we're getting things hot. Probably wanna go for a bigger speed controller in the future. I just tuck that back in there. Nobody knows any difference. Oh no, my nose is stuck on the bank in this personal watercraft that doesn't have reverse. Whatever am I going to do? Gonna do what I came out here to do. Test this electronic setup. I do think I want more speed though. It's a, it's a lot peppier on 24 volts. So I think I might change out the controller for something with proportional throttle where I'm not getting underneath my seat and changing the knob. And then probably just mount a little, little uh, thumb throttle right here. That's what I'm thinking, a little thumb throttle right there. Put a little hinge on here, get rid of all the crap inside. I think that's a good plan. Then it'll fold nice and tight down here, won't be in the way. Just what I need, one more project. Well, I think that's all the uh, tooling around I'm gonna do for the camera today. If you got any questions about the setup or you wanna burn some stuff up with no warranty yourself, give us a comment down below. 
So uh, splash like and see you later. Thanks for tuning in.